Okay, so here we're using a trill effect. And here we're using a mordant. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of composing in truth beyond words. Today we started a new series called Composing in Truth Beyond Words. This series shares composing in multimedia expression. So since last time we declared complete on our previous series, Composing in Evolving Spaces, we completed multiple projects over that time period, reviewed and renewed. We began some new ones and did a lot of reflection on what to do next. So our emerging theme is truth beyond words and something about the private compared with the public goals and drivers that each of us have and paying more attention to internal incentives. So our idea for today was a musical expression of a conceptual image. And this is our conceptual image right here. So we made something called See Anew, number one. And that is what you just heard a little bit of. Now, if you look at this in terms of what we call the vertical view, we have to kind of go to 80% here for this to be more visible. You can see there's our conceptual image and we emulated it with our bottom flute line has a note space note, which is line space line. And then the second flute line is note, 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 which is a solid line like that. And then um, we decided to take the bottom three and devote them here and play them first as a flute. And the rationale for that is that is a conceptual image for wind. And then the upper three uh, lines we put here separately. And the conceptual image for those three lines is thunder. And then we ended up deciding to use flutes to represent the wind and timpani drums to represent the thunder. So we're going to play this for you. And... That'll bring us home. So here's what it sounds like. So what we like about it is that we accomplish what we set out to do, to take a conceptual image and express it in sound, in music. Um, it uses sixes a lot. Uh, if you counted that, there were six repeats of this overall line. There are six lines vertically. And then we kind of, um, you know, there is a paradox to truth beyond words, because truth itself is a word, words are words, and so forth. But sounds are, are sounds. And we can label the sound like that's the wind sound or the flute sound, but the name wind and the name flute are not what we're hearing. What we hear is what we hear. What we see is what we see. And then the words are kind of cognitive overlays. So we're interested in focusing more and more emergingly on what we hear, what we see, and by extension, but we can't do it on an online stream, what we taste, what we smell, what we tangibly feel, etc., etc., etc. So we'll be seeing where else we can go with this, with this theme. So our Results are we made that score and our ideas are to make an animated image of the musical expression of the conceptual image. So that concludes today's episode. Thank you for your time with us on this new series. Take care. Come back and keep on streaming. See you soon.